Hello, hello, how are you guys doing? Thank you so much for joining Sierra Tarot. I appreciate you guys clicking onto my video just to see if this video resonates with you. If so, please comment, like, subscribe with your girl, okay? And if you like a personal reading, look in the description box below and have my email down there and we can take the steps from there, okay? All right. Now, like I said, this will be for my Geminis, okay, Gemini? Let's see what's going on with you guys. I did for you guys' energy and um, with the pre-shuffle and everything like that. And basically, honey, a lot of you have um, transformations coming towards you. You're going to transform into a whole different type of individual, okay? You're basically, some of you definitely are going through a spiritual awakening. If not a spiritual awakening, if you're already spiritually awakened, you're going to a deeper level of a spiritual awakening, okay? And, um... Some of you got some love that is definitely coming your way, okay? And it's going to be a definite transformation within you guys' love life. You're going to have balance and harmony. I mean, positive energy, positive energy, Gemini. Like, it was double confirmation, like literally double confirmation, okay? And, um, yes, I'm so excited to do you guys' reading just to see what's going on. Okay, let's see what's going on for my Gemini. So I'm going to write him what's to come your way. And um, it's asking for you to let your friends help you. Okay. You know, ask and get support from others. If you're having a certain type of decision, a major decision in your life that you're trying to decide on what, what it is you want to do. They said ask your friends. Okay. But hmm, let me get into deeper detail because I did hear, you know, trustworthy friends. Okay. Because... Even though at the end of the day, they may give you, you know, they may come to you with their problems, but they have to make the decision at the end of the day. You just be there. Um, they can be there to support you. You can be, um, confide in them, you know, just to make your decision, okay? Whatever you're going through, simply ask your angels, too. So, they're basically saying that your finances to career right now is affecting your love life. Some of you definitely could be going through some type of financial um, setbacks or, you know, something that is it, it's hindering your love life, okay? Finances, and on top of that, you, it's it's a lot that's going on, okay? Hmm. Okay. Wedding. Okay, this situation involves marriage, okay? So you and your person could want to see... A future gap to your future with each other okay because guess what this is true love okay but right now you guys could be feeling like this finance is a career they're setting you guys back and um, um that's why they're asking to let your friends help you or just see if you can ask for help at this moment okay that's for some of you that's not for all of you okay now let's see what's going on okay Gemini basically ace of cups wow love love here All right there one more love here okay wow so some of you definitely are in love this definitely is a true love you guys whoever you're dealing with this could be a water sign pisces cancer scorpio doesn't have to be it's just the energy and the flow of what's going on between you and your lover i see that there's a lot of love this is the overall energy so the overall energy for october is just basically love you're gonna be drowning in love gemini okay let's see what's going on here See what else is going on for my Gemini. Y'all gonna hear some background noises and that's gonna be my baby girl. Ooh, death. What did I tell you guys? What did I tell you? Okay, it's a tower to destruction. Something's coming. Ooh. Man, we're gonna see what this is, Gemini, okay? You're gonna have to wait, mama, because I'm, I'm you're gonna have to wait. And it says tower. That could be um a scorpionic okay energy that's coming through but let's see what happens from the tower okay what happens from the tower what happens from the tower regeneration oh okay so something is going to come to an end some type of cycle with an old lover maybe or some this this tower had to go down and you two love life so you guys can come back together and rejuvenate this relationship okay they can go either way all right So some of you definitely broke broken up and um that's why they asking you to seek help and to confine in your friends and they'll be there to help you okay but um the five of pentacles so somebody feel abandoned from this relationship 
Somebody definitely felt abandoned in the situation, okay? Wow. Somebody definitely felt like somebody left them out in the cold, okay? There was some love, but somebody definitely brought that damn chip down, okay? Came crashing down. And um, that cycle is it's over with, I'm sorry to say. And um, somebody definitely abandoned this relationship. Might could abandon a relationship between a Scorpio, water, a water sign, Pisces, uh, Cancers, uh, or um, an Earth sign, okay? Okay. Gossip. They could be currently gossip around this situation, Gemini. Okay. Okay, about your stability, maybe. Okay, about different proposals that's coming towards you. Oh, I see jealousy. Mm, competition. So somebody's definitely jealous of you, Gemini. Somebody's definitely jealous of you, okay? Maybe it could be this this water sign here. He want to offer you something. Or somebody's jealous of the fact that this person sees you as the one, okay? And that you want, or this particular person wants something with you. And there may be competition on the outside that is trying to hinder or block the situation, okay? Or block you guys' stability. Let me see what this is. Mommy, go sit down. Okay, six of pentacles. Queen of pentacles. Okay, so somebody definitely wants to propose maybe to something to a um a a fire sign, definitely. Okay, and propose maybe to a um water sign, but somebody here definitely is um trying to compete with this other individual compete with you okay or you're trying to compete with somebody love i hope not but gemini so somebody in the situation they find is very kind this could be a virgo sign or this could be just basically maybe you but you're just in this this you know energy they see you as very kind oh we definitely very passionate about you definitely very passionate about you but the ten of wands but some people feel like this may be a burden or you may feel like this a burden and um but somebody wants to somebody's willing to put down the burden they hindered you guys from even going forth with each other okay and but from there there's going to be generosity it's going to be an equal give and take but i do see some people are jealous of this situation some people are going to be jealous yeah. of you and this person love that you have okay this is finances and career yes definitely it's going to be activity there's not a wand this could be a player energy Okay, maybe this person is giving to a lot of people. Maybe that's why the relationship ended, okay? But I do see growth within you. Page of Wands. Yes, you're going to get what it is that you want exactly. Uh, exactly. Creativity and success. So basically, you're going to be um, just digging into your projects, your work life. Okay, what it is that makes you happy. And then from there, you're going to gain success. Okay, so I won't be worried too much about your um, finances and career here because whatever you put your um, energy into is going to blossom, okay? Yeah, we got the nine of cups here, a wish. So what they're telling you is make a wish, whatever wish or whatever you decide that you want to do is going to come towards you, just make that wish, okay? So it's coming. Now let's see what this wedding card is here for. Endurance, six, uh, seven of wands. So... Some of you definitely are fighting for something, fighting for a particular right relationship, okay? Now, um, let's see here. We're finding to get somebody that was married. We're going to get to the bottom of this and see what it's saying, okay? So, your victory, yep. But from fighting for your relationship, fighting for what it is that you want, some of you definitely are going to get success. We have two cards here that signify success. Like I did in your premeditation, um, seeing th the death card and transformation and balance and harmony and healing, you guys are definitely going to be successful. Whatever the, whatever energy, whatever you put your energy in, like your relationship, new relationship, old relationship, whatever, or just your project, your career, what have you, you're going to be victorious in that, okay? Now, let's see who the true love is. Who's this true love that's coming? This one is the Papa so bad. Nine of Pentacles. So, um, gratitude. This is somebody that you're going to be very grateful for. This could be an earth sign, maybe. 
okay but this is somebody that you're going to be very grateful for okay or this person's going to be very grateful for you coming into their life or they're coming into your life okay let's see let's see what this is if you're not already together okay destiny wow this person that is coming to you is definitely your freaking destiny oh my gosh the will of fortune this person is definitely destined to be with you this person that is in your life or this person that is coming in your life is going to bring you wish fulfillment everything above okay we have eight here so basically that's signifying abundance okay and um let me get more detail about this true love okay Page of Pentacles, it's going to be an opportunity that presents itself, okay? There's going to be some type of opportunity dealing with um, your money, okay, and with this relationship. But I believe some of you definitely are digging into your finances like crazy. You're, you're, you you know, you're doing it work, honey. But uh, I do see a new opportunity here. This opportunity is going to be, uh, present itself. Now, this is, I don't know, them letting me know that when it, when it, when it presents itself, be ready. Okay, because this new opportunity is headed your way very quickly. And yes, and once it do come, you're going to have the motivation and the drive to get this out and done. Okay, or to fight for this particular love or to go to the next level with this particular person. Yes, and when it comes, it's going to bring calmness. Okay, it's going to bring you calmness. Okay, going forward. Okay, this person is going to give you that sense of peace. Okay, not that BS that you had to deal with. Okay. Some of you definitely have recently broken up with someone, but um, let that move on behind. But um, with the two of pinnacles here, you're going to have options. Like I said, it's going to present itself. You're going to have a reward from those options, okay? But please choose the best one that is for you. If some of you could take on more than one as many projects, fine. If some of you want to date multiple people, fine. But make sure they know, okay? But... From there, you're going to, ooh, you're going to be hit, girl. Man, you're going to go right for it, honey. And you, what? You're going to have options and rewards from this. And on top of that, you're going to have the motivation stuff. You know what? Mm, you might, some of you might, uh-uh. Wow. Definitely somebody from your past is trying to come back towards you that hurt you, that really hurt you, that you're basically being resilient from. But what they're saying is, you know, some of you definitely going to be still feeling a sense of loss. But from the heartache, you're going to have options moving forward. God is telling you that was just a lesson. Don't let it affect you. Okay, what you got planned for you, what God has planned for you, don't let it affect you. Because what's coming, because what, what happens from pain? Joy. Okay, so, yes, you're going to be abundant. You're going to be secured. You're going to be stabilized. Okay. Oh, look at your book. Healing. What did I tell you? Okay, the angel and divine is going to step in and heal you. Basically, that's what you can do. Because some of you could be happy as hell right now with everything. Okay, baby. Okay, okay. And have whatever it is that you want. But um, you, st you probably still had a little bit of pain. But what they're going to do is step in and heal you. Because from there, you have prosperity. Okay? Prosperity. Please excuse my nails, y'all. I do have an appointment at 4.30. Okay. Okay. We yes, you guys. Um, This is very, very positive. Very, very, very positive. Yes, yeah, some of you definitely was in hermit mode. Sitting back, reflecting on what it is that you want. And here comes this king of cups here. Ooh, Gemini. He ain't already here. Here goes this king of cup here. So this person is going to be protective. He's going to be understanding. This could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This person is going to be very understanding of the situation that you've been through. They're going to understand why it is that you were hurt. They're going to understand why it is that you had that past trauma. They're going to understand everything. And they're going to come in and they're going to help heal you. Whoever this king of cups may be, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Okay? This person is going to come in, boo-boo, and just knock you off your feet. He's going to help you. Okay? The divine sent this person in. Okay? Let's see. Let's see. What else? Let's see. Growth. Yep. Mm. Travel. Ooh, this person is going to travel towards you. This is 
a this is a confirmation, you guys. It's confirmation. So like I said before, with the person that was going to be coming towards you and there might be some jealousy. Yeah, beware of that. There's gonna be jealousy, okay? Um Ten of Cups. Ooh, this person coming towards you and they're gonna offer you the fuck. Ten of Cups, boo boo. Ten of Cups, Gemini. Woo! Look at that. Look at this. Understanding. After him, what comes? Travel. He's coming to see you, boo boo. Be ready. And then from there, what you got? What you got? The Ten of Cups. Some of y'all gonna be definitely moving in with this person. Some of y'all definitely gonna be creating a whole new stable environment with this person. You're gonna have stability, growth, abundance, everything with this person. Okay, there's gonna be maybe come some conflict, you know. But hey, this person recognition. This person is gonna. This person recognize that you are the one for them, or just recognize that you know. Wow, you know. All this time, this one was it. You know what I mean. But there's going to be uh, working out between the two of you. Self-reflection, possibility. Wow. Partnership. There's definitely going to be a partnership. We got the two of cups here. So there's definitely going to be a partnership between you and a person. Somebody had judgment in the situation. They're asking for you to trust the situation and know that it's going to work out in your favor. Okay. And um, some of you could have been in limbo. He could have been in limbo. Okay. This could be no Austin Earth sign, like I said before, or water. Okay, but there's going to be a possibility, okay, between the two of you guys. Possibilities, okay? And then from the possibility, there's going to be self-reflection, okay? So, um, and then from self-reflection, from judgment, from the angel stepping in and divine, trying to get all this into the works, from there, it's going to be partnership. And from partnership, it's going to be a new beginning, Okay? Alrighty, Gemini, that's all I got for y'all. Oh, let me pull one sexual tarot magic card for y'all. What's going on? Seven of Wands. Oh. Okay. Okay, right. So, Seven of Wands, basically in this deck, the sexual tarot magic deck, there's going to be equal give and take between the two of you. You guys are going to be giving to each other. Okay. You guys are going to feed off of each other. You guys are going to be very passionate, okay, about the two of me, about each other. It's going to be working out. This man going to be giving to you or this, you know, woman going to be giving to you, okay? It's going to be straight up abundance, you guys. Yes. Potential. This relationship, if you guys are willing to work this out, it's going to be straight potential, okay? And then it's going to be a wish fulfilled from going from forward, okay? Now, um, uh-oh. Motivation. Everything is out and it works for you guys. I'm so proud of you. And I hope that you guys stay positive and know that whatever you wish for is coming your way. Because I really see that in the cards. Okay. So, Gemini, this is going to be your preview for October. Okay. I don't even know what to call this yet. If I'm going to call it anything. But, um, <laughs> yes, Gemini, thank you so much for joining Sierra's Tarot. Um, like I said, if you guys want a personal reading, look in the description box below. I have the details for you there. Okay, please comment, you guys. I love to read your comments, okay? I want to know what's going on. Alrighty, you guys. I'll see you guys on the flip side. Bye-bye.